community have worked at Appledore for generations and we do not want this to end. Today we reject the removal of skilled jobs and deindustrialisation from our community. We will not accept the closure of this shipyard. Babcock need to have a grown-up conversation with the government about the future of Appledore shipyard. It's the only merchant shipyard left in the country. The irony here is that there's plenty of work. The government are waiting for ships to be built. There's Type 31E um, frigates, there's solid fleet support ships, but in the name of uh, best value for money, it's a race to the bottom. They, they've put this work out for international competition rather than just giving it to a yard that's desperate for work. Appledore is a place that's built ships cheaper than many competitors and turned a profit year in, year out. You can't tell me that this shipyard cannot be viable. Save our jobs! Save our jobs! Save our jobs! Save our jobs! I cannot believe that the Republic of Ireland's government can keep Appledore going for six years and our government can't keep it going for six minutes! It is disgusting! The chief executive of Babcock has been kicked out of Westminster um, because of his um, exhibition of arrogance at, at Westminster meetings. Uh, in the meantime, we hear and read stories about um, market traders short-selling short stocks, Babcock stocks, so that, that they can buy them back and make a huge profit. Um, and these are the people that are going to influence the future of the workforce in Apple. It's just not acceptable. Babcock's market value is 3.6 billion. Their pre-tax profits are going to be estimated at 546 million. Their dividend is estimated at 29.5 pence if you're lucky enough to have shares. Their capital return, 12.7%. So my question to Babcock's is, you should put out of your collective decision making any question that you cannot afford to keep Appledore Yard open. On behalf of the workers at Appledore, I'd like to thank the whole community for rallying around and supporting us. It really means a lot. I never expected this turnout and it's just, I'm just completely overwhelmed for it. And we will keep this fight going for as long as it takes and those doors stay open. 197 and not out! My old man's a manager down there. He's a, he's a tight fitting manager and it, my family's been in it for years. My cousins work down there and it's nice to get the opportunity to work down there. It's just a shame that we'll, we'll, things are going the way they go. You know, I've had generations of families work there. My father, my uncles and so forth. And many generations ago it was once owned in, by my family. So, you know, I feel it's a real privilege and honour to work there. Yeah, my stepdad's worked down there. He's an apprentice, yeah. apprentice like all of us. He's worked you know, many years down there and he's uh, I, I left and then I come down, tried to do the apprenticeship and the way it's turned out has been a shame but you know, we're going to try our best to keep it open and we'll fight for it. The whole community, Appledore, Northern, Biddeford and the districts is built up around that shipyard and it's just vital to the workers, to the supply chain and to the local economy that we keep that yard going. One pound earned in the shipyard is worth three pounds in the economy locally. There are supply chain small engineering companies that thrive on work from the shipyard, right down to hairdressers, pubs, chip shops, paper shops, all rely on the shipyard and the workforce. In this area, the lack of jobs is the same on the apprenticeship wise. There isn't as many in this area in Torridge. So we were fortunate enough to get selected through the process applying, so we were very grateful that we did get selected. But we, you know, we, we rightly want to keep our apprenticeships and complete them really until our second year of four years. The only way for us to stay employed by Backup would be to relocate to Plymouth to continue our apprenticeships. The loss of this yard, if it happens, is not a local disaster, it is a national disaster. We must look at ways and means of diversifying what is built in the yard, as well as ships. I've got no hesitation in saying this, that the workforce at Appledore are the best in Europe, full stop. There isn't a job they couldn't do. They build ships, they can build anything. And they're open for business. Any work 
Going into this area in the southwest, Aberdeen Shipyard should have first dibs up. Down the yard, because it's a smaller shipyard, everyone knows everyone. It is literally a community in itself. One big family. Yeah. It's one yeah. big family. It is. Mm. You know, we don't want to see that end. We say to anyone watching this rally who has any decision-making power over the future of Appledore whatsoever, if you think this campaign has surprised you, if you thought the workforce and North Devon wouldn't do much about this, if that's what you thought, well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah.